Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is February 5th, 2016. Our discussion is going to be about marriage. It's about 26 times in 25 verses. The, the main area, well, the, it starts right here in Genesis. God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them, and he said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, and every living thing. In Mark 10, 6, Jesus uh, reinforced this. But it certainly isn't God's way for... From the very first, he made man and woman to be joined together permanently in marriage. In Romans, Paul went ahead and knew about it. It's Romans 7, 2. Let me illustrate. When a woman marries, the law binds her to her husband as long as he is alive. If he dies, she is no longer bound to him. The laws of marriage no longer apply to her. In Hebrews 13:4, honor your marriage and its vows, and be pure, pure, for God will surely punish all those who are immoral and commit adultery. James, the half brother of Jesus, says in in uh, James 2:11, for the God who said you must not marry a woman who already has a husband also said. You must not murder, so even though you have not broken the marriage laws by committing adultery, but have murdered someone, you have entirely broken God's laws and stand utterly guilty before Him. Now here's the insight I have. This is very controversial, but it's something that the Bible teaches. Marriage should only be between one man and one woman, as God created them for each other. Anything else is sin. During marriage, we are to remain pure and keep our vows. My concern is the gay and lesbian marriages that many of the states have adopted as laws, and many people take and live this lifestyle. This is sinful, according to the Bible according to God's way, and it's a mockery of the true meaning of marriage. The church of all nations and the world is the bride and Jesus is the bridegroom. Don't be late for the wedding because you have not planned ahead. John the Baptist was proud to know the bridegroom who ended up being his second cousin, Jesus. So it's important here, everyone. We need to follow the guidelines of the Word. I know I mentioned this is something controversial. I want you to pray about it and uh, think about it as you continue the rest of the day. Have a blessed day and God bless.